Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I am going to start talking about pointers, but I will actually code pointers in the next tutorial. This one I'm going to talk about memory addresses with reference operator. And you may also notice I'm using code blocks, not Visual Studio for this tutorial. Um, that's just my personal preference. I used it to do a big project and I like it a lot better, so I'm going to use this. Alright, so when we declare some type of variable, let's just say, let's just say int uh, my age, and we set that variable equal to a number, okay, so equals 27. If I printed that out, you would know exactly what's going to happen. See out my age in line. Okay, so that's a pretty easy guess of uh, what's going to happen. It should print out the 27, the number that it's holding. All right, but what about that is not an address. This variable right here is stored on your computer somewhere. So there's a hexadecimal memory location that 27 is being stored on. So what if we want access to that? All we have to do is have a reference operator and what you do is it's an ampersand sign or the and sign and you put it before the variable name okay so all I have to do is that and now when I print that out it's going to give me not 27 but the address that is storing the value 27 so let's build and run this okay so we get this uh, hexadecimal number and it starts uh, 0 X and a couple uh, digits uh, between 0 and 9 and A and F. So that is our memory address. And the memory address doesn't change. If I wanted to change the value inside my age to let's say 28, let's print out the um, memory address now. So let's see what changed or what didn't change. Alright, let's build and run this now. Okay, and notice that the memory address is the same. So we did, however, change the value of this variable, but that variable, no matter what, is stored in that particular location. And what pointers are is a way of changing what an object points to, what memory address an object points to, or variable points to. So we'll get into that in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe below.